What's up guys, Angelina Martin here with Studio 209 and this week we're taking a look at the healing properties of CBD with the Sisters of the Valley, a group of non-Catholic nuns who grow cannabis right outside of Merced. Studio 209. Mary me and Mary part and Mary me again. We are in front of your beautiful cannabis plants. We're out here at your farm and I'm sure our viewers are dying to know who are the Sisters of the Valley? Over time, we were born of just logical discussions about what a New Age order of women would look like. And we do not affiliate ourselves with religions, although we are spiritual. And here we are, patterned after the Beguines, the first organized nurses in the castles of Europe. And they grew hemp for textiles, and they used cannabis to make medicine. They were known for their excellence, and people came from far and wide to buy from them. Our number one seller is a topical salve. Our number two seller is drops that you drop in your mouth. And our number three seller is drops that taste really harsh, but help uh, mitigate seizures. We are conduits of this plant, and we live and breathe our mission. And so when we make our medicine, as Sister Kate described, we really infuse it with a lot of love and we infuse it with ancient wisdom. We care about the dance and we care about the spirituality that goes into the medicine. We believe that while you're making the medicines, the energy of what you put into that travels with the medicines. On the full moons, we always have a spiritual ceremony, followed by revelry and a fire. We start a batch on a new moon, we close a batch on a full moon. Every batch is identified by that moon cycle name. It's tested at the lab by that moon cycle name, and it doesn't go out the door until we've verified potency. In the old days, we were just trying to make sure the THC was low enough. Now it's more about just making sure that the CBD potency is high enough, because it's not such a problem as it used to be. Why do you think that this resonates with so many people? Because people are tired of religions and the patriarchy, but they need still need spirituality, and they still need connectedness, and they still need a code. Well, hey. 